Let me also take a minute to talk about the Akwamujekiti Road. It's just about 17 miles away from the Akosombo Dam. So people come to Akosombo Dam. There's a very beautiful waterfront that they could have gone to enjoy, but the road is so bad, and after a series of promises, the road remains bad. Uh, we understand that the rains have uh, worsened the situation there, so you can't even get to Ajina before you get to uh, Nana Kwanza's place in Dumasa, and then you get into Jekiti. So, Mr. Rhodes Minister, good morning to you. Uh, Mr. Anthony Cabo, my own good friend, uh, you don't speak your WhatsApp calls and your messages anymore. Good morning to you. Let's get the road fixed because the tourism potential there is very, very heavy. But now, now to my uh, front page uh, headlines, and then we'll, we'll introduce my guest to you. The Finder newspaper says voters will Retain MPP based on good policies, President Akufuado uh, says so. Expect plan to protect journalists before year ends, Opong Kruma said that. And patients sharing beds at the Tatali District Hospital, how? We'll tell you more. Teacher unions kick against payment for teacher professional licenses. The Daily Guide, fresh arrest in kidnappers case. Nana mocks Mahama for poor record. And more names pop up in cool plots. President campaigns for yes vote. Something Ladia Yenini says vote no because it will entrench the politicking at the local level. As we've seen the divisiveness, uh, he says, done to us by the NDC and the MPP. The Ghanaian Times suspend payment of license fees. Three teacher unions appeal to National Teacher Council. ACP Agojo charged with abetment to commit treason and hopefully he will be in court today. Don't transact business with fraudulent financial institutions. The Bank of Ghana has warned one more time for the opt-in time. Reject Mohammed's comeback bid, President tells Ghanaians as he tours the Volta region. Daily graphic, government pays Eastern Corridor contractors work to resume before end of the year. President has announced again another suspected woman kidnapper in court. And the banner headline, cool plot allegations, two senior officers arraigned today. Uh, ACP Agoso will be in there, as I mentioned earlier to you. And at the back page of the Daily Graphic says, rains render 150 homeless at Achim Odam Zongo. 30 Swedro protesters remanded in police custody. They were protesting against the bad roads and uh, they've been, it got violent, so they've been all arrested. My guest this morning, Mr. Kamal Dean Abdullah, he's a Deputy National Communications Officer of the NPP. Also, the Honorable Al Hassan Suhini is the Member of Parliament for the Tamale North constituency. He's won his bid for a second or third time, uh, second. second time, and, and he's in. Uh, again for for a win that's what he says and uh, inshallah he will always add and madam rodling imorayana is a former uh, vice chair of the convention people's party lady and gentlemen welcome good morning good morning, good morning. Yes, i see kamal is blending the blue with me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you are blending the brown with me. interesting mm -hmm. how is this so far come on how are you i'm terrific my brother um Waking up to a wonderful morning like this, mm. we only have to be thankful to Almighty Allah for such favors mm. and also be supportive of good policies and programs that seeks to see to the development of our country and be good citizens and not spectators mm. and pledge not to tell lies in public hold press conferences that would be infantile, it appears, and tell lies within, mm. and tell Ghanaians, look, you are swayed by what I've said. My lies are good. Vote for me so I come mm. back. So I think I'm doing my best mm. to contribute to the development of Madagascar. I hear you. So, Hini. <laughs> well, good morning. How Johnny. are you this morning? Uh, <laughs> I'm terrific, alhamdulillah. Good morning to Staroda mm. and... Uh, Kamaldin, and to our cherished viewers, especially the very good people of the Tamale uh, North constituency. I think uh, we give God the glory for mm. another beautiful day, and uh, it couldn't have started anywhere else better mm. than on the new day, mm. Uh, mm. where I'm hoping that we will have some uh, very fair intellectual discussions. Mm. Nonetheless, it is, it is <laughs> obvious that um, I'm sure anyone watching and you yourself will agree with me that times were better mm -hmm. than the times that we live in. In fact, I bought fuel on my way here. Mm -hmm. I mean, everywhere you look, whatever you touch, you realize that I think the John Muhammad era was better. 
<laughs> Madam, well, I, how I'd are like you to this say, morning? I'm fine. Um, I'd like to say good morning to all Ghanaians watching us mm -hmm. and to all the suffering Ghanaians mm -hmm. who are going through thick and thin, trying to keep families together. Mm -hmm. um, we're hoping that there'll be an alternative to the NDC and the MPP come 2020 and that Ghanaians will begin to see real change and real development. Okay. So that's what we're looking at. Great. So let me start with you. Yesterday, your party national officer, uh, communication officer, held a press conference, the moment of truth, the sit in the series so far. And he put out a series or a litany of names, um, mentioning family and friends, baby mamas, and what have you. What exactly is your problem? Is it that the people in there are not qualified to deliver value for money? or you are just concerned that these are family people who are being fielded, or you just want to play propaganda? What is it? Well, um, first of all, um, I wish Sister Rhoda well in her uh, hope that we will have you know, an alternative. But I will also just want to add that in the absence of the alternative, uh, even when we don't have best, it's always uh, good that we appppreciate better. Mm. I hope you get the so superlative you, 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 that you, I'm using. You're saying that I in hope the absence get, of nothing hope, bad I is hope, good. No, I hope you get the superlatives okay. I'm using. I said that in the absence of best, okay. best, in the absence Which of is best, my alternative. Okay. in the absence of best, mm -hmm. it is always important that we appreciate better mm -hmm. from good. The lesser of two evils, you mean? It's always better that you choose better from okay. good. You know, and, and you see, this morning I was listening, just by the way, I was listening to another radio station and they talked about how uh, Nanai Kufuado jab President Mahama. Mm -hmm. And then uh, President Mahama responded with a jab. And then the other reporter said, well, in all of these jabs, people do not have, uh, and then there was another story, mm -hmm. people don't have uh, beds mm -hmm. in the hospital right. uh, in some town that he named. And that is the suffering that um, she spoke of. And I thought to myself, what were the jobs? Because in the President Mahama's jobs, he said, everywhere I go, I'm faced with uh, complaints and concerns about abandoned projects mm -hmm. and economic hardship. Now, what are the abandoned projects? The hospitals that are finished and locked up with Ghanaian's money. So if you have patients that do not have beds, Listen to the better. Mm -hmm. That there are hospitals, the abandoned projects mm -hmm. would have provided the beds that the suffering masses who are in this local clinic lack mm -hmm. and are going through worse situations. So sometimes I'm saying that let us not just uh, dismiss mm -hmm. people because they are NDC or MPP <coughs> and the noise is too much. Let's listen critically. And even in the noise, mm -hmm. we can still, you know, uh, 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 decipher and choose what is better, okay. you know. But um, the press conference that was held yesterday. See, Johnny, first of all, I must put it out clearly that I have no personal problem, and I don't think anybody, anybody in the NDC does, mm -hmm. with any of those names that were put out yesterday. For all you know, they are qualified uh, to be considered for whatever mm -hmm. positions that they are, uh, you know, assigned mm -hmm. by the president uh, uh, to perform. I, so I, I do not have any problem with any of them, and I don't think anybody should have any problem so with any of them. So why the press conference? There is an issue of nepotism which we cannot ignore. It's an international concern, you know, and, and, and so in appointing people who are qualified to do a job mm. as a politician or as a public office hold, holder, mm. it is always important that you consider that international concern mm -hmm. about nepotism in politics. Mm -hmm. It's important. So that is my first concern. My second concern, which for me is more germane mm. to this discussion, is the level of dishonesty in our politics. Mm. The level of dishonesty, especially with the current administration. Mm. That is my second concern. And that, for me, is germane. President Akufuado went round this country campaigned and complained about the appointment 
that President Mahama made. In fact, others joined him in that complaint. It got so weird, Johnny, that at the time President Mahama was president, anybody with a northern name, a Muslim name, even not in government, somehow, somewhat, was related to President Mahama. Really? Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You had people who were either in public office. Look, I have a sad story of a, a young man, a businessman, mm. who had an accident with his Benz car mm. just around the Silver Towers with another lady. And when the lady came out, and because he had a tasbih in, a tasbih in his car, mm. out of anger, she lambasted him to a point that he said, but for Mahama, where would you have had a Benz car? Wow. Because President Mahama was president. And this is somebody who has never had anything to do with politics. And it hurt him so bad. So it got to those weird levels. Stephen Adai and co. Oh, yeah. took it beyond even nepotism to sectionalism. That it was nordness all over. So that's why I'm saying that my second problem with what we have uncovered mm -hmm. as an NDC and showcased to Ghanaians is the dishonesty that the people in authority, you know, took us through when they sought to suggest mm -hmm. that what is happening mm -hmm. now, when it didn't even happen, was that bad. Johnny. President Nana Akufuado even went on record to promise the good people of this country that he will not run a friends and family government. Fact. Are we getting value for money? Please, a promise is a promise. Don't justify the breaking of it with whatever value that we don't even see. A promise is a promise. So when you attempt to justify what is happening today, it amounts to an insult to the people you convince that the practice was wrong. It does not matter if they are qualified. Like I have said, I have no problem with any of them. They may be qualified. But it doesn't matter anymore because you made a categorical promise. When even at the time that you were making the promise, the evidence that we see today couldn't have been adduced at that time. The level of connections, the, the families, the friends, the business partners, the, I like to add because <laughs> Gabi introduced it, the neighbors was not even there at the time. But you made an issue out of it and assured Ghanaians that you will not do it because in your estimation, it was wrong. And perhaps it was because you were thinking of that international concern of nepotism. Some of politics. the names have been said to have been padded. For example, lawyer Kwame Kufu said to be running his own chambers, practicing as a private lawyer. So why include him in your list, for example? <coughs> With all the names that we have given, we have also given the appointments. We haven't given anybody and left out the role they are playing in government. Mm. I think, except one that I recall, Gabi Asaro Chiridako. Mm. Why and, but even that, we indicated that he's a de facto prime minister. And you see? How so? You see, Johnny. You see, Johnny. Mm. I recall in this country, and even till today, it's a matter for discussion. The concerns that these same people raise about a president brother, and I don't see those headlines anymore. Even when Ibrahim Mahama attended a club, the report was that President Mahama's brother, as if the man didn't have a name. Today, you don't hear President Nanado's cousin goes to present the budget. President Muhammad did not even appoint Ibrahim Muhammad. 
But people had concerns with the level of influence that he had in his government. Today, those same people, mm. ironically, celebrate the influence of Gabi Asario Chidako. Is that is what is making the government bad? I'm saying the dishonesty. The dishonesty. The dishonesty. It's important to always remember my, my, my concern. The dishonesty. Okay. I mean, you cannot, you know, uh, 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 condemn and celebrate. Okay, wrap up for me. Because it serves you right. What is wrong must be wrong yesterday, today, and tomorrow. You don't pretend and deceive the people that it is wrong when in actual fact you are only envious that you are not the one having the opportunity. Okay. In fact, what we are even seeing today, we haven't seen before. Really? And that is why, exactly, we haven't. Where? Which government can you trace all these linkages? Which government? Everyone, everyone somehow is related to the president. Not through the politics of the MPP, but bloodlines or business lines. I even went ahead all to, the people we named. To, to list the big six and some members in there. All the names are not related, they are not related to uh, President Akufuado through the politics association of the NPP. It's either through bloodline or through business lines. Okay. Come we out. haven't seen that before in any government. Come out. The, the NDC has a problem with uh, the family and friends thing. So, so he says, there's this honesty, you made a promise. Why are you unable to keep this promise? And uh, is what they're saying really germane? Once again, good morning to Suhini. Good morning to my sister Rhoda, or my auntie Rhoda, I should say. And of course, the viewers out there, I say very good morning to you. Sad day for Ghana, a sad morning, Wednesday morning. Very sad. Thought we would have sat down to discuss issues that will help propel this country to another height. Mm. We have to sit down and talk about people having families and those who do not have families. I thank God we are not ruled by bastards. We have people who have families, properly grounded. Thank God that country called Ghana today is not ruled by bastards. With the gifts of respect. Because bastards are those who have no families. I'm happy. And that is why I say it's sad for us to descend this low. You see, that is why when they say you are in opposition, you ought to be civil, constructive in your critique. Come up with issues with meat. And let's put that on a table, on the burner, discuss it, analyze it, bring ideas, and propel this country forward. Yesterday, we woke up to some press conference mm. titled Family and Friends, infantile one, of course. Family and Friends, on the 5th of November 2013, came into our poll body politic. Okay? Or was brought into our, uh, our politics. Mm. Not by anyone, but by somebody from them. Who could that be? Now, who is the second deputy speaker of parliament, Alban Sumani Bagben, said the government of John Dramani Mahama was a family and friend affair. You promised not to repeat. With a great respect, I'm telling you where it came back, okay. it came from. It came from. They are holding press conference to tell us how bad it is. But you promised and not I, to keep it. Oh, on the back of what he said, mm. if the president of the Republic of Ghana, then a flag bearer, was campaigning. And I'd heard from them that there's going to be family, there's family and friends, mm. business. Mm. They said it. Then he says, I will not do the same. That's this was fine. President Mahama. I'm not disputing it. I'm coming. <clears throat> that is why I said that we are all belonging to families. None of us sitting here is a bastard. Mm. We can trace our families, we can trace our fathers, and we can move on. In such a country, of course, belonging to Africa, we have a custom. Extended family system is part of us. That is why I see this as infantile. Whether yesterday it happened, today it's happening. For us to leave issues, important issues, and want to sit down here, waste your precious airtime mm. to talk about some names. The fact that your name bears Akufu in addition, you are a family to the president. You are, you are benefiting. No, that's not true. Why? Well, exactly Kwame first. Akufu is not a, a, relative, a relative of the president in the first place. Mm. Kwame Akufu is not even an appointee of this government. It tells you how incredible this thing is. Call the list. I saw a 51 of them. With a great of respect, the president of the Republic of Ghana is mandated by the constitution of Ghana mm. to do not less than, not less than 5,000 appointments. 
Over 5,000 appointments. That's what they could. Please, let me finish. When I'm done, when you, you didn't carry your Arsenal. Sorry, seat. sorry. Uh, yeah. So I want to have it. No, you, the you, president, you share your document. No, I'm, I'm, I am on the floor. When I'm done, I'll give it to you. Yes, okay. But for now, I want to use it. Let me use it. I want to be sure. Let me use it. Don't worry. I want to be sure that it's a document we share. Allow him to have. So, so, you, so what did they put to Kwame? Well, it tells you how serious yeah, so it tells you how serious it okay. is. Okay, I'll, I'll, Kamala is on the floor. Kamala, what did it they put to Kwame Akufu's name? It tells you how serious... What did we add oh, to Kwame Oh, well, so please, let me, let me flow. Where I'm a very quiet... Where is Kwame You see, let me... So you may allow him. So you may allow him. You are an honorable person. So you may allow him. For that matter. I wanted to know where the... Honorable member of parliament for Tamale Law. Let me have my time. Kamala, go ahead. You see, the fact that your name is attached, Akufu is attached to your name, you are a, a, a family a, a family member to the president. The fact that you have Ado attached to your name, mm -hmm. you are a family member. That is why their national youth organizer, Opare Ado, is a family member of Nanado. <laughs> you get that? That's their thinking. That's the logic. Mm -hmm. Opare Ado, their national youth organizer, by their logic, is the family of Nanado. Pablo. Ah, if you are Ado, you are Akufu, you are a related, a okay. relative. Mm -hmm. So now let's move on. They come to town with these lies. Amuakwata in the first place, the minister for rules, is not a family member of the president. They said he's a cousin. Ridiculous. Lies. Come on, check. They can't even do. That is why I say it's a sad day for Ghana. You sit in this country, come and come and spew out what is incredible to people and tell us, let's, this morning, bring the country to a halt. Let's discuss family and friends. What, what did they put to Kwame Akufu's name? Shall Kwame Akufu, they say he's here. Kwame Akufu is here. And I'll give it to you. They said Kwame Akufu Esquire. They even added Esquire. Mm. Let's know he's a lawyer. lawyer. Mm. Very good. It's a paternal relative of President Kufado, and it's what? AG and Minister. Sorry. No, sorry, sorry. sorry. Is it Kwame Akufu? Esquire. It's a presidential staffer. Isn't it? It's not true. <laughs> it's not true. It's a, it's a palpable lie, falsehood. Kwame Akufu doesn't work anywhere in the government. It's not true. And it's not only that, too. Look at number 13. Number 13 is supposed to be part of the 51. Mm. They says the ruling Katet Kolonj. I don't even know what that means. And there's no even position to it. Put that one aside. But you speak French. What does it mean? Well, but that's not French. I don't even okay. know what they've written. I don't know whether it's Cologne or it's my perfume in the house that they are referring to or whatever. And you want Daniels to discuss this thing. Provide, this is what they've got. You will, you will have. Again, there is a creator, okay, from their own imagination, mm. that there is this position in this government. Which is factually untrue, wobbling on facts, factually pathetic, mm. that we have what we call de facto prime minister. Please, you are a journalist, you are a serious person. Mm. In the system of governance in this country, do you have what we call de facto prime minister? Is there a position like that? I don't answer questions. Mm. I ask them. Oh, you don't answer questions? No. These are facts. And these are people who had time, sit down, intellectuals. He said we are going to have intellectual discourse. Mm. This morning, he started with that. Intellectuals sat down. And told the whole world, international media watching on TV that we have a de facto promise that we should take it serious. The alternative is empty. Indeed. Have you kept your promise not to do a family and friends government? My brother, that is why I started off by saying that no one is a bastard in this country. We all belong to families. I like it when they ended up by saying that anytime they talk, they tell them they don't profess solutions and that they are now professing. When they come, they will enact a law called anti nepotism law. Mm. And in other jurisdiction, it exists. Quick check. When I went back, just a little bit of history and where we can find these laws. Other jurisdictions have them. All right. United States is one. They even cited it. Section mm. 3110 mm. in their own press conference. Anti-nepotism law exists in the United States. However, the brother, in, I mean the son-in-law of the president of the Republic of, uh, of, the, of the, the United, the United States, States, as you say. States, yeah. Okay? Gerard Krishna mm. is the senior advisor to the president of the presidential staff. And a party card. I am not justifying. I'm only telling you that the law could be there. You see, you see, these people are intellectuals. They're good. They know how to go about things. Intellectuals who can lie and look at you and say, vote for me. I'm the alternative. So when he says you are being dishonest. I am, I'm, I'm, uh, of course, but they are, not, they are very honest. That's why they are speaking to it on this list. They are very honest. That is why you can, I cannot point at wrong. They are good. They are very honest. Mm. Honorable people calling themselves honest, and you come and lie to us on this list. Lie just because your name is Akufu, you are a family member. Is there is there value for money? You know, according to that this is list? the point. You have asked a good question. Value for money. 
You see, because we all don't come from trees, I come out then. It wasn't a tree that slow actually down, burst slow and down, I came slow down, out. Slow down, slow down. <laughs> we all have brothers, mm. sisters. You mm. see, sometimes inherently, whether we like it or not, he sought to draw in this tribal ethnocentric sentiments when he was making his comment. I think we should fight the whole that that with our all our blood. In Rwanda, before I came in, Madame gave me an example of Rwanda and what Kigali uh, was in Paul, uh, Paul Kagame is doing. Mm. Coming from where, I mean, given where they are coming from, they realized that the Hutus and the Tutsis, mm. it was this ethnocentrism that, of course, was entrenched. And the Batwa. And that brought them the Batua problem. And the as Batwa as well. Mm. So someone sat on radio, misbehaved, and spoke ill. Radio Mill Colleen. Uh, very good. Yes. And then it planted them into where they are. Today, as we speak, they have been able to cite them, give them orientation that we are all one. Fantastic. Have you, have you understood me? Mm. And they have done that. And when Madame mentioned, I said, wow, Madame, it's true. I've also been following the story, the success story of uh, Rwanda. Today, we sit in this country, we have over 48 tribes. In Ghana. Respond to, respond to my value for money so Madame can come No, in. I am responding to it. And now you sit here, 48 tribes, but we see ourselves as one people mm. with a common destiny. But we sit here and seek to segregate and <laughs> seek to bring about tribalism, ethnocentrism. NDC never ceases to amaze me. What, was that we the told them they were the influence influence you That's the influence you why he did it. Why well, you didn't listen ah. to him? You so said he was appointed. We are doing analytical discourse. Mm -hmm. That was what we are doing analytical discourse. So, I let so him claim that he was appointing Nordness is what I highlighted. That is dangerous. He sought he sought to come in. You did it when you are not to me. Now value for me. I'm shocked at you. The president from the onset. One minute so madam can have a bite. The president from the onset mandated by Article 78 Clause 2 to do his appointments. Having done the appointments, when people came into town and said, hey, too many ministers, he said, the results matters. You are asking for value for money. Right. He said, the results matters. I am a student of the law according to the president. I have been with the law according to the president. He, because of his humility, I will do whatever the constitution of Ghana allows me to do. Okay. He went through that, and the constitution of Ghana, per Article 78.2, says that appoint ministers who would assist him in his work mm. to run the country efficiently, value for money, results oriented. Today, as we speak, we handed over a country to you mm -hmm. with nine point something percent GDP growth. When Jama, I'm talking to John Dramani, Maham. Mm. In fact, Atamos handed it over to you. <laughs> All you could do was to leave this country, nose diving to three point something before you left our office. Mm -hmm. And even took us to IMF where we had conditionalities, where we could not employ people to work. Okay. We Rapa. could not get clearance. Rapa. Then this country, the way, a graduate will complete, a graduate will complete <laughs> and not get a job because of you. <laughs> Only for you to run to Senchi again and call people, uh, come, we are looking for policy credibility. We are not credible. Moody's, look at the rating, B minus, that then. Yet they were gloating. Then we ran again out there with that policy credibility we wanted, IMF supported you, came in, and people suffered. Today, we have a president who has come. Those graduates, he has not gone to IMF. He took us out of IMF. He has gotten them job at NAPCO, and I believe maybe your brother or your, okay. your cousin may be part Thank of you. it. And of course, the young ones who could not have school are now in school. Mm. Things are working. The economy has grown to the best in the world. Okay. And you tell me there's nothing. You are the alternative. You okay. are in this scary and empty. Thank you very ah! much. Madam, take, take a bite on this one. And... <laughs> I'd want you to have the conversation about winner takes all in mind while, while you do this one. Um, the streets are saying that the NDC and MPP will always do the equalization and they will promise and, and disappoint and all of that. What do you see uh, on this debate? Um, I'd like to say that it is not just about the question of um, winner takes all, but the effects mm. that this also has in politics and party campaigning mm. and all that. Um, it's about time Ghanaians started thinking about proportional representation. It's about time we started thinking about how to change certain clauses mm. within our constitution. So don't give one person that power to appoint 5,000 plus mm. people. Um, and more so when, at this moment, we are talking about nepotism. If we're going to fight corruption and we look at this nepalistic mm. kind of behavior, mm. then it means we are in trouble. Because you're not able to 
in our family setting, in our traditional setting, mm -hmm. when, when you, your, your family member does something wrong, then you have uncles, grandparents, everybody coming to talk on behalf of the person. Right. And therefore, you're not able to take that person on. You're mm -hmm. not able to punish. And that is, what, um, that is one of the things mm -hmm. that has propelled corruption in this country, nepotism. Mm -hmm. um, so we must try as much as possible not to involve ourselves in this. And I'm looking, today I feel sad for members of the MPP. I don't think that I'm even qualified to speak on this. Why, why not? Because you see, um, I, I, I quite remember people that wake up at 4.30 a.m. join me um, doing media work, mm, you know, mm. communicating for the party. Asuma, I, 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 I hear your <laughs> cry. They are sitting at home. Some of them have not gotten anything to do. And if you're going to look at the list that came out, mm. I don't care whether they are relatives or whatnot, but that is what it seems to be, friends, relatives, and whatever. Are we saying that these were the people, the only people that were so qualified within the NPP? You see, people in politics, we all go join political parties because we believe in a vision of somebody. We also believe in the political party ideology that we belong to. So we want to be part of it so that at the end of it, <laughs> our lives might be better. The lives of all the majority of Ghanaians will be better. Mm -hmm. I am asking myself, if I am a, an MPP member this morning, would I want to go out there into the trenches and campaign only for the president to offer all these juicy um, con, you know, uh, positions, positions to his family, friends, and cronies? How about me, who is not close to that presidency, but I worked so hard to get this um, president into power? Are you saying that the list NDC, uh, NDC presented is indeed family, friends, uh, that, that is what neighbors, it, and baby mamas? That is mamas. what it, it, it seems it like. It but it's not just the... We're not just talking about the N MPP. Right. The NP, NDC was also accused of saying mm -hmm. we had other, uh, other people like siblings, the tete is three of them so if you look at Gabriela it and if you look Gabriela at it it's Gisella. like it is something that is in our body politics and we have family. we have allow, allow please allow her to the mold family allow her please. to make allow, 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 allow madame to make a point i know come on allow allow madam to make a point you had they've given us 51 we've given us they've given us 51 allow madam to make a point the ndc has given us 51 where you are concerned, and the MPP, the MPP has given out 21. So it means that there is still that balance. But whatever it is, um, I think that this winner takes all thing mm -hmm. must, I don't know how we're going to do it, but we mm -hmm. must find a way to get rid of it. And that for me is true proportional representation. Is, is that what is setting us back? Of course that's what's setting us back. Winner takes all. Look, um, one party comes into power, and it seems it's only the, the people that belong to that party are supposed to be fed even or, when they are not qualified it, well even when they are not qualified so long as your party is in power you are, you are you're good to go that should not be it because today everything you know i keep asking myself if it's not that way why should a national development planning commission mm. for instance mm. one party comes and drives away everybody and then a new group of people come and they are supposed to give us a national development plan mm. people take positions or public uh, servants are in public service to mm. serve this country and not a government per se. Mm. You understand? True. So I don't see why every time there is a change of government, we have to let people go. Mm. You, 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 you just take a clean sheet and say, everybody out. You are NDC, you are CPP, you are MPP, you are whatever. And that's it. It shouldn't be. It's about time we started thinking about country first, mm. Ghana first. If you're good and you can do the job, why not? This list that they've brought, if they are good, if they have the qualifications, mm. why not? But have we seen the change? I'm afraid no. I have not seen the change. Kamal says there's change. I, well, Allowed. Kamal, yes, Kamal has the seen the change. Secondary school. I have not seen the change. Well, maybe. The daughter or the cousin. Allow, allow, no, allow, allow madam. I have no, I don't, have, I don't have, you see. So, so Kamal is making reference to I, I, GDP, Yeah, inflation, and all that, and free and SHS. Schools. Free yes. SHS. I don't mm. have any kid in free SHS. You don't have one. No, in uh, free SHS. Maybe your you understand? Come on, allow, oh, allow, no, allow, and allow, my madam. nieces and whatnot, I think I'm even paying more for, for this free SHS. You are. And I can tell you that people are dropping uh, out. Yes, I, I, I know that, at least in my village, 
um, people or my town, people who went, 100 students started, 87 are now there. People mm. are dropping out mm. because they cannot afford certain things. You understand? I am sitting here and people are calling me. My, my, my daughter, my son, my nephew is going to school. Can you help with this? And I tell them it's free SHS. And they tell me, no, we still have to buy certain things. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So free is not actually free. Free, okay. You see? So, um, um, so you are not seeing the value. I am not seeing the value of all these family and friends. Let us put the right people there. If there is anybody, I want a day where there will be a government. And I, I believe that going forward, a CPP government, if it puts its mind to it, will not be segregating people. You will appoint people based on their qualifications, right. based on their competency, and mm. not because they are family and friends. Okay. There's, there's mm. somebody yesterday who told me that he believes that Dr. Abu Sakara Foster would have been the best agric minister. Uh, mm -hmm. in this country if we had engaged them. But one yes, minute yes, one minute no, no, for, no, no, for us all, okay, so we'll, we'll do right. more pop. Then see, we'll, we'll swap the topic. I, want, I don't want some to quick say corrections. Anything. One, until recently, Kwame Akufu was a member of the board of NPA. You can check it. Mm. Yeah, until yeah, recently. Yeah, yeah, mm. You can check it. Until recently, yeah, right. Yeah. We're talking about appointees. appointees he was a member yes. of the board. He was a member of the <laughs> board of the NPA. Now, my brother sits here and he says family and friends, the tag originated from the NDC. Yeah. Yes, you can contest that. It was Mr. Alban Bagwin mm -hmm. who first said that. But what was the evidence? Was he right? Because no evidence really was adduced. <laughs> but you latch on it, expected in as a, an opposition. In every you law, there's an iota of truth. Wait a minute. You latch on it as an opposition, very expected, mm. and promised that you will not do that, even though there was no evidence. In fact, in, in the classical case of what we have done, okay. you know, what we have revealed, and Madame points to the differences in numbers, quite apart from the numbers, we are also talking of direct connection with the president himself. Mm -hmm. It's not about some sisters or some, it's not, it's about the direct connection, connection. to the president himself. We, if we were going to look for, you know, uh, other people maybe we would have had more, like akin to what was in the NDC. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about the direct connection to the president or the vice president. I'm going to say some of the names These that are, are the related to the president. Nice. Now, again, he talks about, um, um, what do you your, call your it? minute is, is Please, up. I need to do some corrections. He talks about a quartet. Maybe he doesn't know. A quartet simply means a group of four. Four, yeah. And we gave the names of the four. If it is not in the list that he's holding, he should get a full copy of the press conference and he will find a group of four. Mm. He also talks about um, de facto and he says that there's no de facto mini prime minister. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't know the meaning of de facto. I'll help <laughs> him. Existing or holding a specified position in fact, but not necessarily by legal right. It's, it's, it's that, that's a strong allegation against it's, the you see, one. You see, you see, business. We are not, we are not even people. those saying it. Even MPP people say it. The influence that man wills is much more than some cabinet ministers can will. Okay. Okay. It is obvious. Okay. Now wrapping up, wrapping up, wrapping up. You see, one minute, my so point you, again, you take it. my point again, mm. Johnny, is the dishonesty. And you see, it is not just about the lie that I will not appoint family and friends. Mm. It's also about the lie that I will run a lean government. Okay. And today we have a big government. It's also about the lie mm. that I will fight corruption using the Anas principle. Mm. And today he is fighting Anas. It's also about the lie that I will not borrow. And that borrowing and taxing people are lazy ways of running okay. the economy. Thank you. And today that is what Thank you are doing. Thank you very it much. It is the lies, Thank you. the dishonesty Thank you. that I have Thank you. a problem with more than even the nepotism that we take see. Come on, take your minute, your minute and, and then Madame will take it and then we'll swap the topic. See, I want us to... Why, to give yourself all, why, why give yourself all this trouble? You go say one thing, then you come here struggling trying to justify it. Which one? Well, you said Kwame Akufu was a president just The next moment, he's now an NPA boss, a board member. You haven't challenged that. I'm saying that. No. You said, talking about he says, you, you told Daniel. This is what I'm saying. You are talking about honesty. Mm. And look You're at how honest about you are. No, no, Sweeney, oh, allow, allow him. Allow you have been so minutes. honest that you told Daniel, had a press conference, bought airtime on TV and radio. Tell people that, look, Kwame Akufu's name is here. If I were Kwame Akufu, I would take legal action. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. Because you can't draw this man's name into the mark. He's a hard-working lawyer out there. If he's watching me, whoever is watching, tell this man to, do, to try as much as possible to protect his own reputation 
for the lies on the face of it. He says you are dishonest. And I'm saying. The no, president is being dishonest oh. and he can't keep his promise. Kettle trying to call some people black. He can't. Kettle trying to call someone black. I will not say they are dishonest. But well, Kettle calling people Fanta, black. Even though you know, let me tell you something. Your comments as you know what? You know what? Very pure. He says, I may not understand or I maybe I do not appreciate what de facto means. Yes, you the know. jury and de facto, of course, are antonyms, whatever. <laughs> but at the end of the day, let me let you understand that there is nothing called prime minister in this, our presidential system of government. Mm. It's not, not like that. So that nomenclature doesn't even exist. He, he qualifies it de facto, is it, uh, which listen, means that he doesn't have legal no, basis, but he knows, but, but he knows everything. Listen, he has influence it everything. It doesn't, it doesn't, listen, let me tell you, we he cannot, operates, we cannot tell us. people. Allow, allow, we cannot get up, get this platform, and then try to speak on speculation or what your mind tells you. When you go and enjoy and feel, you come and tell me, hey, I feel this man has influence. That's what it it says even people we, within your party. And these no. are people telling me, oh, my brother, this is, this is not, I've not heard anyone in my party. You have not heard anyone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But let me let you know something. Come on. Quickly, wrap I've up. I've not heard anyone. Wrap up. First of all, first of all, I'm saying that <laughs> if there's a little untruth mm. in what you want people to believe in, there's little untruth. You taint the entire process. Then the presidency you is taint taint it. it. Because the lies you, you have taint the entire goodness. process. And then you can't sit here the and you have the tainted. audacity. Mm. Okay, the gap to look at people and lie to them and okay. say, hey, next moment you say you are honest. Thank you. Well, thank you me, very much. I'm, just, I'm saying that you. we should dwell much more on issues. Okay. 2020 election is going to be based on issues, mm. our performance, is an issue. and we're going to look at how at the end of the day. Are, are you going to look at, are you going to look at winner takes all, winner takes all all over again? We, we have always been at the table. I was at IEA for this meeting some time ago on this winner take all matter. And I've always maintained that results, that is what matters. Competence is what matters. We will not sit down. Of course, so, uh, Suhini, are you telling me that when Madame Lodina was taking very good care of you, Madame Lodina was powerful than the president? Is that what you're telling me? Do, do, you, do you have proof? No, I, I, I know what I'm, <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Do you have, you have, you have, you have, you have proof? When we're told, when we're told no, that Madame no, Lodina was so Jody, powerful in NDC government, she was so, 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 she was somebody. So do you have, you have proof? Listen, Jody, I am so blessed that, what, that the, first, about? the oh. first lady of so the Republic at the time found me useful enough to work with me. Okay, thank you. And then, of course, what I'm saying, oh, don't forget about it. Thank you. Let's not, let's not, let's not, let's not, we can, we, Gentlemen, is, let's is let's not reduce this. Let's not reduce it. Really I, I think that people oh, that is an issue. I, I think that 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 no, no, no. Ah, slow down, slow down, slow down. Gentlemen, that is why it's gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen slow down. I think the bigger the bigger Galian the bigger Galian community out there. I think the bigger Galian community out there is. You know that. You no, really no, relax. Really? Relax. <laughs> relax. <laughs> Let's not reduce this. I think the bigger. I think the gentlemen. Your, your microphones are off. Your microphones are off. Your microphones are. I think the bigger Ghanaian community is looking at how this impacts their lives on a daily basis. What impact? You know, they are looking at how this impacts their lives. In the first place, even discussing this matter, of course, it's not even doing Ghanaians good. In the first place. Oh, why? If Nepotism, Madame, well, if you Nepotism listen to Madame, Madame, Madame says that some names will come from the MPP, some names will come from the NDC, and will go and now sit down to say that, look, at the end of the day, we are all doing this and that. Okay. Thank you. 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 you. Thank 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 you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take your mind, oh, Come on, you, you, I, 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 a question oh. for you. I just wanted to ask: Did the <laughs> then president Akufuado, as candidate Akufuado, say <laughs> no family and friends? Did he, he did. make that promise to Ghanaians that he, he was did. not going to have family and friends government? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, now the I'm only asking. Are you asking a rhetoric question? Or you're asking because somebody question says I should ask you. One of my, <laughs> one of my, I'm asking, but it's a fact. I am did saying. Say it. Maybe the person was hearing me. did say. I made a categorical statement. I said, on the back of what they themselves brought into town, mm. okay, they themselves told us that their own government 
was a family and friends guy. And so you decided okay. to repeat it. Okay. Let's move on. You decided to repeat it. Let's move on. Telling me. So you're telling me. Let's move on. Let's move on. I've been asked to say that there is no. All bastards have families. Madam, let's move on. Join us with your comments. We'll read them shortly. 0201 666 The front page of the Daily Graphic and some other papers. I say, gentlemen and uh, uh, lady, the front page of the Daily Graphic says coup plot allegations. Two senior officers arraigned today. Uh, ACP doctor Agozo, who is uh, uh, who has been in the BNI custody, hopefully to be arraigned before court today, he's been charged with abetment. He says he sees witch hunting being done. So, Ini, what do you see in this whole matter of coup allegations, coup plot? His lawyer says the 2,000 cities that he donated was for philanthropic reasons and not necessarily to fund. Uh, what do you call it? A coup, and that he was actually guiding the people as a policeman on the right way of holding demonstrations. Now he says he's being witch hunted. What do you see? You see, Johnny, it may, it may, it may be subtle, but we are getting there. Mm -hmm. There where? The culture of silence. Really? It may be subtle, but we are getting there. Mm -hmm. And it's not as if we were not warned. We're told about the intolerant nature of candidate Akufuado. And so every step of the way as president, the writing is getting clearer. Mm. Look, if it is not media houses that are shut down with regulations, mm. it is the banking sector based on your face mm. that regulations are used to determine if you are fit for purpose or not. If it is not that, it is people who, for speaking their mind, mm and perhaps acting in ways that the government does not find palatable, mm. that are harassed, invited, and questioned over very ridiculous things. The party chairman of the NDC was called and we all looked on. Today is Agajo, who says that the government, you remember that his video that went viral mm. about how government influence the police hierarchy. in the police hierarchy was a problem. And today he's in BNI custody for almost 72 hours now. The wife will not even be allowed to see him, simply because he belongs to a WhatsApp group. I mean, if they were going to check all the WhatsApp groups mm -hmm. that we belong to, and the things we say on those WhatsApp groups, and the contributions we make on those WhatsApp groups, mm -hmm. will any of us, you know, uh, 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 survive the charge that is put on him? So you see, it is as if, if you don't look red, white, and blue, you are a threat by whatever activity or whatever word you utter. And I think that, as a people, honestly, it's as if we have not woken up to the reality that we are faced with. And so we are not showing as much anger as we should about what is happening in this country. I mean, how can you arrest somebody? You will not even allow the family, the wife, to have access to him on the mere basis that he belongs to a WhatsApp group that was formed by somebody you are investigating. And he, on that WhatsApp group, said that this country was rife for a civil uh, uh, Arab, uh, Arab Spring. spring. Mm. Please, let's even go back to 2012. Almost all MPP communicators will be guilty of this. Because almost all MPP communicators in 2012, in their communications, said this country was rife for an Arab Spring. They said it. If they were not arrested then, on what basis are you arresting this man because he has made a contribution of that nature? Contributions that each one of you made when you were in opposition. What is happening to this country? What kind of leader are we having okay. that is so intolerant? Even in opposition, he had to chase his party chairman and secretary out. And in government, he cannot tolerate dissent. What is happening? Headmasters are suffering quietly in their schools. Because when you complain about some of the problems that your schools are faced with as a result of this reckless and thoughtless, you know, free SHS, you are either transferred or fired or, or suspended. Really? Oh, there are several of them. And so many of them now are suffering quietly in their schools. What is happening? Why are we not showing our anger in love as a people? Okay. I think we have tolerated this. Uh, how, you know, how do you want people to show their anger? For, for, for how, how, do long want, enough. how do you want people to show their anger? Well, there are various ways that we can do that legally. 
and is open to all of us. Very good. There are various ways. But I don't see us doing that. Really? And I think that the precedence that we are setting is very dangerous. Are you not inciting the people? Well, call it whatever. But I, I am saying, I, I am saying that there is justifiable grounds for us to be upset with some of the decisions that our government is taking. Okay, let's drink water by way of messages. Come on, you have a bite on it, Madam too. So let's take a bite so that we can, we can keep the lady waiting. Crystal, welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> Prince Henry uh, from Kufuridua says, Good morning, Johnny. All that I have for President Kufuado is he should reduce the elephant size of ministers and also the number of family and friends in government because these actions can lead to corruption. It's sad as a small country we have over 125 ministers when we can fix our roads and also when we can fix our roads and also eliminate double tracks in SHS and also keep the menace of flooding in the country. Sami Boache from Samankesi says, Sam, um, Sami Jemfi President conference is baseless, needless, and rhetoric. Please tell them to get a better campaign message for the good people of Ghana and stop this kind of pettiness and tribalistic politics. Messageless party, free SHS has come to stay. Hashtag for, for more for Nana. Regards to Honorable Sintim Abuaje of Asamankasi and Ernest Yaakumi of Akwetia. Good morning, Johnny. How do you allow Kamal to use words like bastards on national TV? Kamal should uh, respect himself and the viewing public. Um, let's go, let's President go. President Ekufuado um, promised virtue and is practicing vice. What, has these what have these family and friends brought to the Ghanaian economy? Hardship, hardship, and hardship. That's from Popo One in Elembel, um, Elembele. Good morning, TV3. Thanks be to God for bringing out Nana Ado to save us from the hands of Mahama and his people. They shouldn't even think of reading a manifesto for the upcoming elections. That's from Ellis from Somanya. From Mystic Insight and Sawam Adouadri. Uh, it's undoubtedly true, undeniable fact that uh, NPP's family, friends, and cronies government is beyond measure, measure and comprehension. This government should deal with insecurity, unbearable hardships, and corrupt and live this uh, suspected said kitchen knives coop cool plotters alone. My regards to Honorable Salam Fume in uh, the upcoming incoming MP for Insawam Adwejri constituency, Honorable Kujeto Ablakwa and people of Mepe. Good morning, Mr. Host. In fact, the MPP man in your studio must be ashamed of himself for defending corruption and nepotism. What a shambolic governance will with incompetent governments from ECHO in Ifiekuma in Takradi. Good morning, Ghana. It is a sad uh, it's sad for us when you hear ruling government communicators defending everything in the, uh, the government does. It is by your own standards in 2016 that is being used to judge you. And all we hear is the communicators, the president, vice, and some of the ministers of the government insulting the same people that use their resource to go and vote uh, for you. Accept your mistakes and be humble or else by the time you realize you're in opposition. Good morning, Johnny. The MPP is a failure when it comes to keeping of promises. Kamal Dean is a chronic liar. He's uh, struggling to defend the defenseless. That's from Abdul UK. This NDC people can never stop um, amazing Ghanaians with these lies. Let's not go far, TV3. Just have a check with all the district assemblies in the country and how John Mahama packed them with your tribe mates all over and have the guts to uh, complain. The NDC is really confused. That's from Munta Wale Wale. Um, one more comment, or should I... Uh, Good morning, TV3. In fact, the MPP is confused. They are always giving, uh, giving us the numbers of jobs they said they have created. They should also give us the number of people that have lost their jobs from 2017 to 2019. And that is where they will know that they are not creating jobs because people who have lost uh, are more than those working. Good morning, TV3. I always enjoy your show. But Johnny, where is my boss, Senior Bright? This, gov this government promised Ghanaian... This government promised Ghanaians uh, to make Ghana heaven on earth. And what we are seeing now is hell on earth. The president has, the, has, to, uh, has appointed 123 ministers wasting uh, taxpayers' uh, money, paying all these people, yet they are not doing anything. Akufado is touring in the Volta region, um, Volta, touring the Volta, commission, Volta region, commissioning a project that a student of Ho Mauli High uh, School themselves pay money to build their own assembly halls. I pity this president and his incompetent MPP party. Tell that also to uh, Kamal 
tell that so uh, <laughs> so Kamal Dean has to shut his book out cavity uh, <laughs> and stop lying to Ghanaians. Uh, Allah is watching him. MPP uh, lies beyond measure. God is watching them. Uh, last one from Fuseni Babak Jabuni in Yendi. Whether family and friends or whatever or whatever, tell Kamal Dean to inform the Minister of Education to fast track the postings of the newly trained teachers who are currently doing their national service. Trainees are patiently waiting for you people come 2020. Okay, thank you well. very much. And uh, hmm, interesting. Come on, take a bite on this one. What, what do you see? Uh, they, they say that people are not angry enough. The culture of silence is scraping in <laughs> and <laughs> people are being selected. Now there's uh, a superintendent, Peter Tobu, is retired. He used to be the executive secretary of the uh, past IGP. He's now the NDC's parliamentary candidate. And he's also being cited in this particular one. Are you, are you witch hunting people, as Dr. Well, Agozo said? Johnny, we are a nation of laws. Mm. And I'm happy when Sohini was speaking, he ended up by saying that legally, mm. if you have anything to fight, okay. you do that within the tenets of the law. Mm. When you take into consideration what the framers of the Constitution of Ghana had to write about how important our Constitution is and how we need to protect it. And you read thoroughly mm. Article 3 of the Constitution, you would realize that, indeed, any attempt, any form of aid, any form of abetment, mm. okay, or in fact, even an act of truth or actual uh, I mean, uh, uh, performance of a duty to outthrow, I mean, to overthrow the constitution, of course, we are even told to resist it if we can with our strength even before even the law comes in. Mm. So it tells you that anyone seeking to subvert the constitution or put the constitution somewhere is an enemy to the state. It is not to say that those who are arrested are culpable. That is why... Article 19 tells us that there's presumption of innocence. We need to make sure that the due process is followed. Mm. As Lord Denning says, due process of the law is as good as a substantive law. Let it follow. Let's move on. No one is saying that, look, we are haphazardly going to pick anyone and do whatever we want to do. Let it go by the law. Is the culture and of that silence is why, creeping in? Well, you see, that is, that is someone's thinking. See, he sat here earlier on, and the sentiment he threw out there was ethnocentric. The next moment, people are so silent, blowing hot air, nothing happening. You want to tell people that something is happening. The fact that someone is supposed to be going through the law. We sit here, we don't know much. The security agencies are doing their investigation and going mm. to the law court. Mm. They will review it, and the law of the game, or, or the rule of the game, is that adduce evidence to whatever you say you have said. Says if then you, someone if, sit down and say there should be people angry, come out and fight. Do, do what? You see? Did he say fight? This hunger. Did, did he say fight? This hunger. Oh, 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 look, that's my interpretation. Okay. This <laughs> hunger. This hunger for Very votes. This hunger for votes. This hunger for people to elect you back. Mm -hmm. You understand? Should not push you to be making certain statements. He says when people country. speak up. I'm saying they are, they are picked up. Say they oh, for us. Who has picked, picked up? I'm saying that we don't know much. You sat here this morning. He says someone is held because of a, a, a because he belongs to a group. What's that? Like group I said, made that is the information he has. And he spoke at the, the IDEG forum about oh, the so, hierarchy so, of so the let's police council. Mm -hmm. Johnny, I beg you. You are a host. You are a journalist. Is he speak up? Is he picked up because he made some comments at IDEG meetings? Is that the reason? No, is that the reason? I, I've not seen the charge. Thank you. No, it's, it's not even there. Let's not lie to Ghanaians. And that's not the reason. Mm. You sit here and poo poo everything. <laughs> you sit here and say what you want. The man is not picked up because he was making an advocacy out there for us. No. Nobody has said So to for you, the culture of silence. They have given in. reason. And you yourself said mm. that somebody gave 2,000 Ghana cities. That's another matter. Mm. He yourself has agreed that indeed they said they are reviewing. I had, I had a lawyer. That's what you see. I want to be very fair to anyone. A citizen of this country is a citizen of this country. Nobody should name should be drawn down. That is why I said let them do their investigation. Let the law take its course. Let us see where it goes. Is the culture of silence creeping in? What is the culture of silence? Mm -hmm. Why? Proponents of the rule of law. 
making sure that we are going with the rule of law. You sit here this morning and you have right to say whatever you want to say. Is that a culture of silence? You go out there as enshrined in Article 21 of our Constitution. If you are dissatisfied, you go and do a demonstration. Recently, you did your demonstrations. Nobody has stopped you. And you say culture of silence. What is the culture of silence? You see, I said the hungry or the hunger in them mm. for people to vote for them is let's do anything. Let's say whatever. Okay. Let us sue people. Let's okay. deceive people to vote us. They will plant this country into a mess again. The, the indication that I get is that the viewers are not happy that you use the word bastard. On hindsight, no, would, would, you, would, you like to, how, would you like to no, apologize for I it? have been very careful. I was rather, I used a positive Be Careful and you are. What I said, what I said was, <laughs> nobody in this country is a bastard. We all belong in one way or the other to families. You said it's ha bastards only who do not have. Family. Of course, but you are not, we are not bastards. Would you like to apologize for it? I said it. No, yeah, apologize. No, be fair to me. No, no, I'm, I'm Please, saying that. I'm saying you should be fair to no, me. No, no, I'm it's asking you, would you like to? I'm not well, then, forcing listen, you to. Listen to what I said. Mm. I rather, I set off with saying that nobody in this country is a bastard. Okay. And that it is only bastards who people can say they have not got, as it were, right. parents or family. Okay. But we can all trace our roots to a particular family. And the people this listening to you say, and now, say they, they don't no, find it that's palatable. That's someone's opinion. Okay. And I listened to it. I believe others, others have listened. Okay. I wasn't calling anybody a bastard. Okay. Thank but you. I only said that nobody in this country is a bastard and that we all belong to it. The usage of the word, mm -hmm. with the girls of respect, was not to impugn any insulting, mm -hmm. if you like, um, uh, channels to someone. No. Okay. Okay. It was Great. just to say that this is what it is and this is what we are. Thank you. However, mm -hmm. if the person who thinks I have used it finds it unpalatable, when of course I didn't even mean any harm, as civil as I appear, as decorous as I appear, right. I say I'm sorry and let's move on. Okay. You are clear. But I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> as soon as you are clear. What do you mean? Come on, come on, come on. Ah. Apologize for the condition, no, of course. No, that's not wrong. Please, yeah. Yeah, I've explained yeah. myself. But he says if, that's mm -hmm. a condition. Madam, is the culture of silence uh, creeping in? The ACP says he's been witch hunted, persecuted, if you will. Johnny, I, I would like to take it from another angle. I'd like to say that um, this country, Ghana, decided to say goodbye to mm. coup d'etats right. by um, going back into democracy. 1992 constitution. 1992 constitution. Um, between 1992 and 2000 was Jerry Rollins. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we heard of coups and stuff, but even if we did, it was because of where he mm. came from. Mm. And then um, uh, Kufo took over, President okay. Kufo took over. We didn't mm. hear of uh, coups, maybe they were acting silently, we don't know. And then Atta Mills came. Mm. We didn't hear of attempts at overthrowing Atta Mills. Right. We didn't hear of attempts um, to overthrow John Mahama. Right. Um, fast track 2019, mm. we are hearing of attempts to overthrow the government, the legitimate government of the Nanado administration. Mm. Now, I want to put on record that in this country, um, major coups have come about with certain reasons. And most of the reasons have had to be centered on corruption, mm -hmm. nepotism, ethnicity, dictatorial tendencies or, or authoritarianism. And all these have been reasons given for the overthrow of Kwame Nkrumah. Mm -hmm. He was supposed to be corrupt. He was supposed to be practicing nepotism, ethnicity, and all that. Then we came to Dr. Buzia. Mm -hmm. It was the same thing. He was corrupt. He was, uh, uh, his uh, government was corrupt. Mm -hmm. Um, he was practicing ethnicity mm. and all that. Then we came to Dr. Um, uh, Dr. Liman. Dr. Liman, yeah. Dr. Liman, he was corrupt. The re I'm only giving you the reasons, the why, reasons why people, would, people want to would want to have a coup or make a coup. It came to Liman. It was the same reasons. Corruption, mm. uh, nepotism. It was a Northern People's Party, all sorts of things. And that was why people decided to do what they a did. Mm. So if you look at this listing that I have given you, mm. you will ask yourself, this present administration, does it have any of these ingredients? You does it me. have corruption? Yes. Does it have nepotism? We just discussed it this morning. Are there dictatorial tendencies? I would say yes, in some way. People believe that there are some dictatorial tendencies. And then we're looking at ethnicity. Does it exist? Yes. As a northern person, it has been flanked on my face several mm. times. So these are the things. There are recipes for these things. Let us not fool Ghanaians by saying that everything is good. Not everything is good. This culture of silence you're talking about. Yes, it is creeping in. But really? 
At the end of the day, I tell you, you know why? Because people are beginning. I, 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 I suddenly that. don't feel safe. I ask freedom? myself, do I really have to keep my WhatsApp groups? Yep. Are they reading my WhatsApp messages? Yep. Are people going into my, my... You don't feel safe? I don't, I don't feel safe writing anything on WhatsApp anymore. Because, you see, at the end of the day, when we come here and we sit and we speak... WhatsApp is encrypted. No. Uh, come on, let me make my I'll points. Allow you to when, make a point. We're, we're run out of when, time. When, when we sit we're here and we, we, we speak, wrap up there are me. certain issues that when we are outside, we it's would encrypted. say that we would not say here. Right. You understand? Mm. In the same way, I could want to, um, to get some form of information from someone and write in a certain way. Mm. Not necessarily what I'm thinking, but because of what I want. Okay. And it might be something else. So let us look at mm. those things. I've given you the ingredients mm. that cause for corruption and um, corruption nepotism ethnicity uh, dictatorial tendencies are these relevant in this administration if there are then we must find a way of okay. grabbing them thank you otherwise Madam, that's what we are going Madam to do Madam Imo Rayana is a former uh, vice chairman of the convention people's party honorable Alassane Suhini is the member of parliament for the Tamale North constituency he is in the bid to, 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 to get a second term and also to Kamal Dean Abdullah is a national communications uh, deputy director of the NPP gentlemen thank you thank you very much for coming <laughs> Well, <laughs>